I downloaded and tested over 75 ChatGPT plugins, and I wanna share with you my top 10 favorite plugins that I'll think you'll find most useful. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT plugins are, basically, if you have a ChatGPT Plus account, the paid version of the Plus account, and if you go to ChatGPT4, you will see a whole world of plugins available. So these are basically these little apps that you could activate, and there's a whole app store, basically the plugin store, where you could download these. This is where I downloaded a whole bunch. I installed, uninstalled, tested, and I'll show you some of the favorite ones. And if you have the Plus account, if you go to the settings over here and go to the settings tab and go to beta, there's a plugins option and you might also have one for web browsing. Those are rolling out right now. But if you don't have this, you'll probably get it in the next few days. The first one is called Speech Guy. This is basically a text converter and it turns text into audio that you could actually download and it has an audio player page too that you could embed on different websites and social apps. Let me show you exactly how this works. Once you press install on any apps that appear over here, but you could only have three of them enabled at any given time. So some of these you have to actually deactivate to reactivate another one. So I'm gonna reactivate Speech Guy here. And the way this works is you could say, turn this into an audio file and then give it some text and then press enter. And you don't have to activate that plugin. It's going to know in order to turn this into audio, it needs to activate that plugin. So you could see it just kicked on this plugin on its own. So ChatGPT knows this information and knows what plugin is going to come in handy for a task that you give it. And look at this, audio ready, click here to listen. It's gonna make the URL for me. And this is free, but it requires you to make an account on this website. So if you click it, it might ask you to create an account. Now, if you created one, all you have to do is download over here or press play. I'll show you what it sounds like. The easiest way to convert texts to ready to use audio. Right, so I could download it here. And this is basically the exact text I gave it. And I've tested out a lot longer text, my own scripts, and it does a pretty good job. Now, the second one on the list is called Copert. And this one basically searches the internet for the best deals and finds you coupon. Let's say I'm trying to get a new domain from GoDaddy for my new website. I could say, find me a coupon and then type in whatever website, whatever service, whatever product and then press enter. Again, as long as that plugin is activated, it's going to know that it needs to trigger that plugin and then it will find me a coupon code. And it looks like you found one for me and it says, here's an offer and it's gonna give me a bunch of different coupon codes that I could use and it's gonna give me a link to the website. And I actually went through the checkout of GoDaddy and it did work. One of these coupon codes actually saved me some money. Now the third one, if you go to the plugin store and go to the most popular, this one, Wolfram, is the most popular plugin. Now, the reason is this actually gives you access to all kinds of real-time data. So there's a weather app, for example. With this, you don't need it. It's gonna have access to weather. It's gonna be able to do more computation, more difficult math problems. So this one should be one of the first ones you install. There is a reason why it's the most popular. And once you get internet browsing, I think this is gonna become not as useful, but it's still one of those plugins that I always have activated as soon as I got access to plugins. And it does kick in from time to time without you even realizing you're asking a question where this could actually help you because again, some of the data is only accessible through this plugin. Next on the list is edX. So if you hover over it, you could see find courses and content from leading university to expand your knowledge. So if I select this, it would actually try to find information that are just not going to be accessible. So in this case, I asked him, what's the leading physics course from a top university? And then he actually kicked in that plugin for me. Here are top physics courses from leading university. And then it's gonna give you a quick recap. It's gonna give you the link to that course. You could go to that link, you could enroll. Really, really interesting to really take your knowledge to the next level, edX is this plugin. This next one is called One Word Domain. So you know sometimes you come up with a business idea or you wanna find a domain name, but then you'll have to leave this platform and then go to a different platform to search it. This one actually could search domain names and compare the prices across different registries. So I did an example for GoDaddy, but maybe I want this from Google domain. This is gonna do that. So let me show you how it works. All you have to do is say is the domain and then type in the domain, is it available? And it's going to search and then it's gonna say if it's available or not available. And then it's gonna give you the details where you could click over to see. So you could use this to find you different names. So I use ChatGPT to come up with business names with a prompt. 
and then I'll ask it, hey, are those names available with a .com? If not, are they available with a .ai and things like that? And then it will help me do my search much, much faster. I wasted way too much time trying to come up with a business name before this domain name finder plugin was available. Next on the list is from Tasty. So you may have seen Tasty videos before. They're huge on social media platforms, but now they have a recipe plugin. So discover recipe ideas, meal plans, and cooking tips from millions of users that use Tasty. So this is really interesting because now I don't just have the database that ChatGPT has. Now I have Tasty's recipe base too. And I asked it to find me a recipe on Meatball and by default, it actually does answer things like this. But now when you have that plugin activated right here, the Tasty plugin is gonna find it from those Tasty recipe database. So that is sometimes more useful than the ones that it has information on pulling. Next on the list is called WebPilot. And this one basically allows you to browse and generate articles from a link. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna take this Wikipedia link and I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to write me an article. Write me an article. And you could see this one again activated the plugin WebPilot and it's gonna pull in all the information and assemble an article. So this could save you a ton of time. And as usual, it activated the plugin that would do the task. And then it's gonna take everything from that Wikipedia page and write me a really nicely formatted article so I could use this to teach. I could use it again for my website. Really simple way to generate articles. So this should save you a ton of time. The next one on the list is Vox Script. And this one enables searching for YouTube transcripts, financial data resources, Google search results. Let me show you this one, it's very powerful. I'll go ahead and activate this plugin. And then I'm gonna say, give me the transcript for this video. Let me go to my YouTube channel. I'll take this video here, I'll click on it and I'll copy the link from up here. And then I'm gonna say, give me the transcript for this video. I'm gonna press enter. And it's putting the transcript into this box here, but I could go ahead and copy this transcript. And then I could also give it a follow-up, like now turn this transcript into a summary for me, and then it will do just that. So this is a really, really useful plugin if you consume a lot of YouTube content and you're trying to really do a quick summary of each one, this will actually have access to that link on YouTube. So it could actually do this for you very quickly. Next is the most powerful plugin for pretty much any platform. ChatGPT now has it too. It's called Zapier. And it basically Zapier is an app that connects apps. That's the only purpose of Zapier. So it connects basically things like Google Sheets to your email or Salesforce to something else. It takes two apps, connects them together. Now it's integrated inside of ChatGPT, but because it's far too advanced, I'm not gonna cover it in this video, but I'll make a follow-up video on how to use it. This basically opens up ChatGPT to be anything you want. That's what Zapier does. I use it all the time to connect different softwares from different companies that usually wouldn't know how to talk to each other. So I'll do this on a follow-up, but take a look at Zapier when you get a chance. And if you go to the most popular tab, I'm gonna put these in the same bucket, but Kayak and Expedia are two that basically do a really good job searching for the best deals for you. So if I activate one of those, they can't be activated at the same time because it needs to search one over the other. So this time I'll do Expedia. So I'm gonna ask it, find me the best deal on a hotel in Chicago, give it the date, give it how many people are staying there. I could give it how many star of a hotel, maybe three star, four star hotel, but then it's just gonna do the search for you. So it becomes your personal assistant. This time he actually gave me a follow-up question. So I'm gonna give it the answer to a follow-up so it could do a more refined search. And then what it does, because it's from Expedia, it searches Expedia for the best deals and it gives it to you in really easy to follow links here where you could book it. It's not gonna book it for you, but it does give you all the information like price, rating, if it has breakfast, right? Very useful. And I'll show you this one here, diagram it. Basically creates and edits diagram directly in chat. So I asked it, create me a diagram for the evolution of AI. It used this plugin and created this really nice visual diagram for me that I could actually make edits to online if I want. And then it's gonna give it to me in a brief overview too. But this visual representation of AI, for example, is really, really useful. And I could do this with pretty much anything that needs some sort of diagram to make it easier to comprehend. Great teaching tool, great comprehension tool as well. And I'm also in the process of putting together the most comprehensive Netflix style learning platform for learning the latest AI tools with complete tutorials, complete courses from multiple instructors. 
and that should be rolling out very soon. So make sure you sign up for the wait list and I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. The goal with this platform is just to make you a lot more efficient at work and your personal life with AI and it's going to be constantly updated ad free. Sign up and I'll let you know very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.